Hey guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Mercedes Page. Mercedes sent me this crazy story and it's coming out of Maryland. So what's going on is that you have a 28 year old mother. She's a mother to two girls, a three year old and a six year old. She decides to leave them in the car for over an hour so she can go get her makeup done inside the mall. This whole story is just ratchet. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the news clip and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Charles County Police say it was 16 degrees outside and a mall customer heard the sounds of children crying coming from a Cadillac SUV parked in the lot outside a department store. She called police and when they arrived they found two little girls aged six and three alone inside shivering. Yeah, they see nobody with it. The officers say they put the girls in their cruiser and then one of the officers went into the mall to look for their parent. Mall security made an announcement on a loudspeaker and police say the girl's mother, 28-year-old Regina Coleman, came to the car. She reportedly told the officers she had lost her wallet and went to look for it and had only been inside 10 minutes, but police say they later found out she had been inside the department store for 90 minutes having her makeup done. It should be inside. I mean, what's an excuse for that? This is the third case this winter of parents leaving children in their cars in sub-freezing temperatures. In the first incident, the mother left her child for several hours just before New Year's as she gambled at Maryland Live Casino at Arundel Mills Mall in Hanover, Maryland. And just a couple of weeks ago, another grandfather allegedly left his grandson in a car while he went to shop. You know, at this day and time, you know, people should be a little bit more careful than you know, leaving kids uh, alone in the car and stuff. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip. I don't understand what the hell is going on with parents nowadays. This is one of the coldest winters on record. They've been calling it the polar vortex. Up here in Minnesota, it's gotten as cold as negative 40. I mean, it's insane that anybody, any adult with common sense would leave some children in a cold car. And the sad part is she's not the only one. Just last week, there's another crazy bitch, Alicia Brown, who left her damn four-year-old daughter while she went gambling in the casino for eight hours. The girl almost died of hypothermia. Somebody just happened to hear her cry and they called the police. What is wrong with these parents? And then if that's not bad enough, I've been getting stories sent about Heather Jensen. She's the trailer trash mother whose kids died because what happened was back in 2012, she decided to meet up with the guy that she had met off the internet. And so instead of getting a hotel room and having her kids be watched by a babysitter or by her mother, she decides to bring her children with. So what she ends up doing is parking her car next to her suitor's car. She jumps in the car with him. They proceed to have sex and smoke marijuana for an hour while she leaves in her kids in their car in their seat belts strapped in and she has the heat blasting these kids ended up roasting to death in the car while the mother was right next to them having sex with some man that she didn't even know less than a few days I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys her news clip because she was recently just charged and I'll come back with the rest the of my commentary. mother whose two sons died in an SUV last winter a jury has now reached a decision our Karen Morfa joins us now tonight and Karen jurors reached a split verdict of Heather Jensen resulting in death for both of her boys, but not guilty of criminally negligent homicide. We, the jury, find the defendant, Heather Jensen, guilty of count number one child abuse. Unanimously find that question. Heather Jensen sat with her eyes closed while the jury read their verdict. They made that split decision after a day and a half of deliberating and four days of hearing testimony from investigators and first responders who found two-year-old William and four-year-old Tyler Jensen back in November of 2012. The boys died of overheating after Jensen locked them in her SUV with the heater running so she could have sex and smoke marijuana in a nearby vehicle. Prosecutor Rich Tuttle spoke briefly about the jury's decision after today's hearing. I think in every trial we're concerned about sympathy and prejudice and bias um, and yet we were hopeful that the jury could look past um, feelings of sympathy and just judge the case on the basis of the evidence. Now, Heather Jensen could face up to 32 years in prison for each of those two counts of child abuse that she was convicted of. A judge will decide how long she will spend behind bars when she is sentenced in March. Okay, Jen so you guys just watch the news clip. You know, they're saying Heather's looking at, you know, upwards of 30 years. Both her kids died. Parents, we have to start using some common sense. It is not that serious. You have two daughters. There's no reason why you couldn't have brought your two daughters with you into the mall to get your makeup done. If they're too young to sit still, then you didn't need to get your makeup done that day.
No amount of MAC makeup or having a beat face to go, you know, stunt for some guy should take priority over to your children's safety. You know, what if these kids would have froze to death? What if somebody would have seen them crying and instead of calling the police, they kidnapped the kids? Then you come out, your kids are missing, then what you gonna say? I mean, this whole situation makes no damn sense. Folks are leaving their kids in freezing temperatures to go gamble, to go shop, to go get their makeup done, to go have sex. I mean, come on, parents, we gotta do better. It should never be that damn serious. Anyways, go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation that's coming out of Maryland. Soon, I'm gonna need Maryland to get a name. Y'all go ahead and come up with one. All right, deuces.